Just got to the campground here, getting set up. Threw some burgers on the grill right away, and then we'll head out fishing, but getting camp made here. And this is a Flower Lake campground. Flower is in baking, not as in you look at it. Uh, which is National Forest Campground. And as you can see, we are very close to the lake. And so this isn't even the main lake we're going to fish on, but in the mornings and evenings before we head out, I'm sure we'll be throwing some lures, but really nice area. And this is uh, about halfway up the Gunflint Trail here. Nice area where we can just launch the canoe right here. Just nice small little lake. John, first fish on. Probably can't hear any of this with the wind, but yeah, he's coming. There we go! That's what we're here for, yeah. lake trout. Yeah. That is a nice yeah. fish. Pretty nice good. fish. Dang. All right. Wow. Pretty he even cool. unhooked himself for you. Is he wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, that's why I'm not kidding. Yeah, put him right here. right here. Yep, put him right in the right corner. Here. Right here, in the corner. Okay, so I can put his nose up against the corner. Side here. Okay, Let's Pinch call it. him 20, 20, 22. 22. A little over 22, I believe. 22 and a half. We're on West Bearskin Lake. Trolling, mostly uh, deep divers. Pretty nice day. It was windy when we first got out here and it rained a little bit, but now it's just looking real nice. But uh, only one fish so far, but we've only been out maybe about two hours. But really nice, about 23 inch real fat lake trout. So hopefully we'll uh, get into some more because we still got daylight. taking a little break here but now this is the day two we got here uh, late afternoon yesterday and did some trolling and dad got a real nice lake trout about a 23 incher but pretty much we're just going trolling um, deep divers for the most part I can't see that one too well but big bill because we're mostly in about 20 feet of water is about the average, but uh, it's right about a week after ice out, and so the trout should be up shallow about 10 to 20 feet. Uh, but yeah, we hit one nice one yesterday evening, now it's second morning, and uh, trolling around the lake. But this is uh, West Bear Skin. I'll give you a look here. Yesterday it was pretty windy, so the audio probably wasn't great, but really nice lake. Just came off a uh, West Bearskin Lake here, which is in Superior National Forest. They're getting the boat tied down. But uh, nice looking lake. Didn't get anything this morning, but we got a nice one yesterday. So now we're gonna switch lakes and see if we can get into some more lake trout. Just getting launched here on Clearwater Lake, which uh, the majority of the lakes in Boundary Waters Paul's pushing us off, so we can use the trolling motor, but we can't use the regular motor because there's a 10 horsepower limit on the lake, and you have to get a permit in order to use a motor, and then fill out a, a day slip for being in boundary waters. 
And we'll see if this lake's got any trout in it. Looks real nice. Trolling Clearwater Lake now. Yep. 13. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Colors. Real nice area. Yeah. Don't know where the fish are in it, but looks real good. Now we're technically in boundary waters. Yeah. Okay. We got a Martin running on shore here. I don't know if he'll show up. There he is. If he'll show up very well on camera, but that's really cool to see. Definitely don't see him very often. Yeah, I just saw something moving in the bush real quick. Oh, like, is that there a squirrel? Open area. Oh, open area. But he looked too big. And it's a Martin. Just following the shoreline. No? Way too big to be a weasel. There he goes.
Just getting launched here on day three. Didn't catch anything yesterday, so we'll see how we do today. All right, Paul's on a fish here. We caught nothing, nothing yesterday, and first thing this morning, Paul's on. Okay, yeah, Dad's getting me up, so I'm out of the way. And that off. Can we see it yet? He's straight down. Straight down. He's still a ways down. Okay, we might go under the boat. Oh no, he's that's some that's some uh, serious drag on there. Yeah, no trout are fighters. Let me just look here. We're at 36 foot of depth. We were a little bit shallower. We 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 turned the boat off once Paul got on, so we were a little bit shallower, probably about 25 feet when he hooked up, but. Good fish, good fish. So we're assuming it's a trout. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Cause yeah, yesterday, nothing at all yesterday. <laughs> yeah, reel just pops off. Uh oh. Got twenty pound. I could give him a little more. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> if you don't have to, just let him tire himself out. Yeah, he's like straight down. He's just digging. Nope. The motor's down, but other than that, you can move where you need to. So I don't need to go higher, but I probably. All right, and remember, so future reference here, we got that right at that hill. Okay. That's where we hooked up, but on the other side of the lake, opposite yeah, the hill. So give just a little bit more. I feel up, like he's gonna be yeah, close. Right here is when you don't want too much drag when you're rod back. But yeah, again, he was like you were insurgent. you were a ways back, and he took a lot of your drag right away. So yeah, and you could tell it was a fish and not just a snake, yeah. right? Because it was it wasn't. Well, again, we were so deep. I knew there's no way you were on bottom. <laughs> yeah, I could feel mine felt like. But yeah, you got to get a deep diver. We'll show the lure once it's up here. You thought it was a good lure. Yeah. Good choice. I mean, I was starting to lose confidence. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a good lure to me. You haven't been out here that oh, long man. today. This is a fish on here, man. Yeah. That's what they say. Lake trout are hardest fighting fish in fresh water. Like smaller than that. <laughs> yeah, a little two pound. Well, good way to uh, break in your new rod. All I can do is. Wow, yeah, really taking drag. Is there a submarine down there? Yeah. So I had that was all my game. Yeah. Wow. Took about fifty feet there. You wanted to see how serious you were. Yeah, what are we now? 49 foot out in the middle of the lake because we drifted so far. Yeah. About well, twice as deep as when we started. Well, he could have swam to the bottom. I don't have a floral leader to warn us. If you see the leader, he's there. Well, I'm sure we'll see the fish before yeah, gonna, <laughs> the leader would have been on anyway. I'd be really upset if yeah. we never see him. Well, again, that's why I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't tighten your drag any. I wouldn't tighten <laughs> Not if he's still got that much energy. Now you're getting him gaining pretty good though. Yeah, we're gaining a lot. Yeah, I'm surprised. Well, now he's over a little bit. I was going to say, it's pretty much been straight yeah, down. I see him, he's huge. Oh, he's very Where large. I haven't huge. seen him. Huge. And I said no. Oh, there he's at. There. Oh, man. Huge, huge, huge. Holy Hand shit. me the net. Hand me the net. Okay, he's huge. Hang on. Huge. Up a little. Yeah, I, know, I know. I know. Yep. Yep. Huge. Huge. In the net. In the net. In the net. In the net. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Big, huge fish. Oh, that trout. is a lake trout. Holy so cow. Oh my God. He's, he's, he's on hook already. Wow. <laughs> They've both unhooked themselves in the net. <laughs> That's a hook already. Wow. 
Congratulations! <laughs> oh man. Wow, that is a nice fish. I heard they get to 30 pounds. That's, uh, yeah. That, I'd say that fish is worth not getting any yesterday. Here. Oh man. Oh yeah, the lure. The Cabela's. Yeah, so Cabela. it's a... Uh, Just a run that's his. Works. That's his pattern. He's a deep diver. So he was usually hitting the bottom if we were any shallower than about 15 feet. Right before the rain. And we were about 25 feet, I think, when uh, he hooked up. But uh, we'll get a tape on here, but wow. That is a nice fish. All right, so yeah, we pinched the tail. He's 30 inches. And now we're going to use a soft tape to get a girth on this thing. Man. What a nice, seven inch beautiful seven fish. Seventeen and a half. Oh, a little 18. over. Okay. He's, yeah. He's seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half girth. Wow. Thirty wow. inch length. 30 yeah, we're guessing. Yeah, it's got to be at least ten pounds. Wow. Very, very nice fish. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Putting them back. Letting the thirty go. And he's gone. <laughs> and we got rain coming at us. <laughs> Launching the canoe. We're on Round Lake. Gonna paddle across to do the portage to Missing Link, see if we can find any uh, brook trout now that we've caught a couple nice lakers. So, see what else we can do. What do you think of that one? Huh? Said, so what do you think of it? Well, pretty scenic. The bottom five feet I could see with the canoe on top. Yeah. I think uh, it looked nice. I just stopped for a while because I was netting the trout as they were going downstream. Yeah. And I carried them for a while and I thought, wait a minute, they want to go downstream, so I've had to throw them back. Yeah. Oh, I think a nice looking trail. Yeah. This nice big rock face here. This is the portage between Round and Missing Link, which is a third of a mile or just a hair over. And uh, from Round to Missing Link is uphill, so it'll be downhill going back. But yeah, I've got nice big boulders and rocks and stream on one side, so very scenic portage. There we go. Fishing on Missing Link now. Nice looking lake, small lake, but it's supposed to uh, have a bunch of brook trout, so we'll see if that's true or not. Uh, yeah, Paul's got trout, first trout. <laughs> We've been fishing about five minutes and Paul got a trout. How, how's that portage now, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> here, hold it back here so okay, I can. I still I don't think it was the most enjoyable. Let me get. It's a portage, that's a nice one. That's over a 10 inch brook trout. Can you get a good look at it? Yeah, real nice fish. We got him on the stringer. Yeah, there we go. Brook trout, worth the portage. <laughs> All right, and this is what he was caught on. I just picked this up. It's, a, I believe, Storm is the brand, but it's a flicker minnow. A three inch flicker minnow with a deep dive spoon, but it's a uh, real shiny silver, red eye, nice small little one. That's what we got the trout on. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, look at the colors on this guy. I just got this guy in, and he's probably close to 12 inches. Oh, yeah, these are brook. Okay. And uh, we'll get him out here. He's on the stringer. We'll get him back in the water. And I was uh, just throwing a, uh, if I can get to where you can see the hook, throwing a purple flu flu with about three worms on it on a bobber set about three to four feet deep. So worms are catching, lures are catching. Let's see if we can catch more and yeah, fishing toward shore. So it's been about maybe at most 20 minutes on this lake and we got two brook trout already. So, doing real good. 
There we go. We're passing the, the trout back because now I got the stringer. But Paul just hit one about two feet off the boat when he was reeling in. <laughs> yeah, I got him. There we go. So third brook trout in about 10 minutes. But yeah, the color on these are just, man, they're beautiful. And you can see the white trim on the fins. The lake trout had that, and that's because brook trout and lake trout are actually char, which are arctic species. That's why they like the cold water. But they got the white trim on them. But yeah, we got three fish in 10 minutes, so good uh, good lake, apparently. Real uh, pretty lake here. But we got Dad and I got bobbers out right now. Paul's still throwing that same silver flicker minnow. But yeah, we're pretty close to shore. It's where we think they've been hanging out. and Just a nice looking lake and really nice day, especially to be out in a canoe. All right, Dad's on a fish here. Throwing, uh, throwing worms in a bobber. We came back up the arm we started, which seems to be the right decision. <laughs> Yeah, they like jumping when they're by the top. They don't want to lose him. Just trying to take him easy. Looks like it. Just want to take him easy. Come on, come on, here he comes. Oh, he's going. Yeah. Oh, I do want to catch him. Oops. Did you get him? No. I got him this time. There we go. There we go. There's a fish on yet. I think so. There's a fish. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Dad's got. Probably the biggest one so far. All right, I just caught my second brookie here. Probably nine, ten inches. And uh, yeah, still purple floof and a uh, couple of worms. So worms are hitting, silver lures hitting, but catching real good. And yeah, they all seem to be right off this rock point. We've been just going up this arm and drifting, and that's been working. Real good on a nice calm day like this. So we're up to uh, up to five. Yeah, got another one, and yeah, Paul got one. I didn't get time to get that one out, and I had a hit, but I missed it because it tangled in my other line. But oh, oh, that must have been a hit. so that's on worms. Yeah, Paul's had a couple hits on the lure again. Oh, he's not up from the but yeah, we're we're catching good. I don't know if that was a hit. All right, I just got another one here. So I got. Three. They've been, uh, yeah, still hitting on worms. Paul's still getting hits on that silver flicker minnow, so doing good. We're getting a lot. And yeah, just the color on these guys is hard to beat. Definitely one of the prettiest fish. But we got uh, quite a few. So we'll get a couple dinners out of it. Fish in here, and there's a couple loons right off the back of the boat here. Got him on. Oh, yep. Paul got one here, right by the rock. I got the net. Can you hand that up? There we go, get it in the canoe. They can fit through the slots, get it in. <laughs> I got it, I got it. I just couldn't turn Put them around back, there we go. Very nice. Yeah, showing the nice color on these guys. Towards you maybe a little. Very nice color on these trout. And we got nine that we kept. We got, yeah. Thought it was ten. But uh, yeah, very. Productive day. The two on the ends are the best. Worms and a silver flicker minnow. All right, had a good day. Here's uh, nine real nice brook trout. And we had some that we lost and they were hitting real good. Paul had his monster lake trout this morning. So went from a day of catching nothing to a day of hitting real good. So come get some trout. <laughs>